going through to top the group with that win over Kadabi Shrikanth and then Kunlovat uh, Viditan following suit as number two in men's singles group B. So those two go through to qualify for uh, semi-final Saturday. What of this women's doubles? Not quite as much on the line. Squaring off for third spot in Group B in the women's doubles are the world number 13 pair Birch and Smith. Today in their way, the world number 24 pairing of Ashwini Ponapa and Siki Enredi, the left-hander of the partnership. That's how the group lies. Matsuyama and Shida with a straight game win over the Stoiva sisters earlier today out on one. They go through having won the group, the Japanese. The Stoivers come through second in the group. And the last two pairs playing off for the third spot. But there's a lot at stake because the difference between fourth and third spot is 9,000 US dollars in women's doubles and 1,800 world ranking points as well. So there's a lot on the line here. Who will it be to find a way through in the last of our group stage matches? in women's doubles group B. Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith from England take on the Indian pairing of Ashwini Ponapa and Siki N. Reddy. Now court officials are making their way to court, just trickling along under my uh, peripheral vision. The umpire of the match. Mohammad Izzat Salman, Malaysia, and the Dodijak Artun Jalusnod, Estonia. Following this, of course, we were due to bring you matches three and four. But of course, there's been a couple of walkovers in this session, as there has in session two as well. We do it all over again at 5 p.m. local time here in Bali as uh, the English make their way to the court. Chloe Birch leading the way. with the camera right in her face. Followed by Lauren Smith. Produce Aswini Ponapa and Reddy and Ziggy. Indian. And here come the Indian pairing of uh, Siki and Reddy and Ashwini Ponapa, who I saw at six o'clock this morning having a PCR test done alongside me. These players, whatever happens, will be making the trip back home because this is for third and fourth spot playoff. As I say, there's a lot on the line. 9,000 US dollars and 1,800 world ranking points. It's the biggest prize in the year, this tournament. It's one and a half million US dollars shared out. So Lauren Smith will serve to Siki and Reddy, and the Indian pairing chose the near end. So a quick uh, adjustment for the four players. This is a third meeting between these two teams. And the second this year. Tell you more in a minute. Let's uh, take a look at the athletes first. Chloe Birch, 26 years of age. From Preston originally, I spent uh, a lot of time down at Milton Keynes and uh, really did enjoy playing singles for such a long time. Very good player as well. And now turns her attention to women's doubles and has been talking to me about maybe possibly even finding a mixed partner back home at some stage. Lauren Smith, just uh, four years her elder. And these two off their career high ranking of 13 in the world, doing very, very well. Their route through so far. A couple of losses, but uh, 
what stiff opposition they were against. That was a repeat of the European Championships final against the Stoivers that was uh, hosted in Kiev earlier this year. Ashwini Ponapa, 32 years of age. You'd hate me for saying that. That makes her the oldest player on court from Bengaluru in India. And the uh, solitary left-hander, Siki Enredi, 28 years of age from Kordad. Now they qualified in seventh place, these two, with their Orléans Masters semi-final showing. And they were as high as 17 in the world. That was in August 2019, just for a week. And again, both teams have lost to the uh, seeded pairs. Both matches in straight games for both pairs. Maud Izad Salman of Malaysia in the chair and Artur Zalujoy from Estonia in the service judge. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of a perspiration left over from what was a very, very eagerly anticipated and uh, didn't it deliver men's singles earlier? Marcus Ellis in the English pairs corner. So here's the pair that qualified seventh place for the World Tour Finals, playing against the English opponents who qualified as sixth in their qualification. So there's a lot riding on this, despite sort of playing for third and fourth place in the group. Both pairs will be keen to get off to a flying start, no doubt. So the English in predominantly black. The Indians looking a little bit more vibrant in their yellow tops. Yeah, it's COVID wipe down time, isn't it? Popov Junior particularly was uh, sweating profusely, dripping everywhere, and that's why the uh, chairs have been just wiped out with a wet wipe, leaving nothing to chance. It's all COVID regulations to the max here in Bali. We've been well looked after, well protected. Tests and PCR tests every few Ladies days. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lawrence Bass and Chloe Butch, England. And on my left, Ashwini Ponapa and Lady and Siki, India. Lawrence Bass to serve to Lady and Siki. You are all play. One, love. Terrific point. Two, Chloe did well to love. dig that up. But I think she might have grazed her knee in doing so. Just wants to uh, towel down. I think yeah, it's her, her fingers that she grazed. It was a great get there, wasn't it? But she's literally sliding along on her knuckles afterwards. Sting. That's unsettling, isn't it? At the start. And just to tell you of the head to head, they're locked in at one all. And after and ready won the last meeting in the Orleans Masters in France back end of March. 
14 and 18 it was. But prior to that, a couple of years before, at the end of November 2019, in the Sayed Modi International, it was Birch and Smith that came through, courtesy of uh, just a couple of points played. There was a retirement after they were 2 0 up. So it's over. Three, one. So two of our four players are spending time on the floor already. <laughs> Such is the intensity of this one. <laughs> Clever flick serve Three, from Lauren four. Smith. Change of the look. Good pace. Keen movement from Chloe. Covering a lot of ground there and really spiking that one with some heat. Face kind of person is Ashwini Panapa, but not today. She's got a business face on right now. That's good to see. Oh, wasn't she quick to read that? Six. Siki and Reddy was all over that, wasn't she? Wonderful preemptive uh, movement. Watch this. And then suddenly, yeah, cuts that off beautifully.
Yeah, stopping the run of points, the English there at five for their Indian opponents who are on a real generous run. Good pace to that rally. That's just gone. Or has it? Let's take a look. First challenge of this uh, women's doubles then. Serve was called long. So the Indians are challenged. They want to get a better look at this. Ashwini stretching out her calves or Achilles. A little bit of tape going on down there. Let's have a look at that. Still the beating heart denoting that we're going upstairs to get it checked. Slow hand clap for a uh, Hawkeye. Unusually slow. Just suggesting longest challenge ever, I think it is. Here we go. Well, it's found the edge of the line, you know. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Seven, nine. Play. Yeah, good close. String break there for Panapa. That one just uh, sprayed right it's under the net, didn't it? Look at that. The string bed was uh, all splayed there. Multiple strings broken. Yeah, there's about uh, five electronic stringer machines just behind where the Indians are playing right now. At uh, the other side of the wall. But they certainly have been very busy. A lot of string breaks in these slow hall playing conditions. Longer it's over. rallies. 11, 10. Interval. So it's put up for and ready. After 10 minutes exactly, they'll host a one point lead, 11 points to 10 at the mid game interval. And this uh, tight women's doubles from Group B, third and fourth play playoff. Bye. 
Just the one point in it then, after the interval. Who will make a 11, surge? Good energy in the English camp. Indonesia and the Soviets, Mansur Georgiev, Iran. Please welcome Joko Pan Kipiharakun and Marika Prajokjai, Thailand. Oh, that's wonderful. Going with the pacey return and then taking all the pace out of that. Third shot in the rally. Really nice. Or oh, fourth shot, I should say. Yeah. Chloe quick to get up to the flick serve from ready. Yeah, good pace. Keeping the intensity very high, both teams, particularly the English team that were on the attack throughout. Really good energy from the pair at the top of your picture. Well closed. Yeah, good proactive work there from Lauren Smith. Three point cushion. a lovely little push from Chloe Birch to get the upper hand in the point, got the lift away and oh, they were driving it along so nicely weren't they?
Really good. Terrific. Great timing from Smith. The Bisova, 70. That was just 40. so courageous, wasn't it? Look at this, hunting the shuttle, kept the racket up, and then just exploded all over that. Absolutely immaculate. Look at the reaction as well to go with it. Well done. Well, Chloe was thinking about a challenge. 15, 17. Oh, good move from Lauren Smith, but perhaps just uh, a bit ambitious. But you've got to be praiseworthy for that positive work. Yeah, well done. Assistant in attack, the English. 80, it's a little warmer locally today and uh, players sweating heavily as a consequence. More in the men's singles than here, but... Uh, three points from this opening game. Super shot from the talented left-hander. To be sober. 17, 18. Look at this. Again, lovely change-up. Sold them with the big banger. The English retreat, and then suddenly... Long, it was a oh, hang on. No, it's been called in. All. Dropped right onto the line. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm with Chloe Birch. I thought that was going to spill over the back line, and then suddenly just dropped. So, a resurgent Indian pairing hauling it back from 13, 16 down. It's over. 19, 18. Oh, that's unbelievable defence from the Indian pair. They were under siege. Really aggressive point from the English. All out attack. Thought that got it done, but what a defensive block from... I think it was uh, Panapa in the end. Incredible point. Deadlock on the scoreboard at the sharp end here. Who's it going to be? That'll blink first.
that's a lucky little nibble off the top of the net cord, isn't it? Favouring. Ponapa and Reddy. Look at this, it was well struck. A little push. Chloe giving her all to try and dig it out, but to no avail in the end. That's rough justice, isn't it? Look at the body language of Lauren after that. Frustrated having worked so hard. It's game point now for Ponapa and Reddy. Somehow, they've wriggled out of what was a really awkward situation. Panapa and Reddy showing their colours with all of their experience. And it's the world number 24 pair from India that have found a way through the opening game. 21 points to 19 after 22 minutes. So players back for game two. Play. Rafa and ready. A game to the good. Oh, wonderful defence. Kept the racket up. Terrific. One love. Well, it comes with the territory, Lauren, doesn't it? She knows all about that. Just trying to intervene and in doing so, just mistiming it a little. But the work is good. 
She's got to keep her chin up. It was uh, a rough feeling for the English having these guys just uh, win three consecutive points at the back end to snatch game one for what would have felt sort of much more of an English dominated opener. That's good. They had to take the medicine in game one, Birch and Smith. But they're forging ahead again in two early stages. Body attack wasn't at the shot prior, and that kill relatively straightforward from Panapa. Short, punchy rallies at the start of game two. It's all been pretty business-like and snappy at the moment. Super blind, really good cross block off the forehand from Lauren Smith. Good aggressive stance in defence and following up nicely as well, just in case it did come back. Five point cushion now, encouraging for the English team. Good energy surge between them. Good rapport as well between Birch and Smith. Pacing along nicely now with five straight points. She knew what she wanted to do. Good energy, and why not have a go with that cushion on the scoreboard? It's good to uh, try and get to more expansive parts of your game. Yeah, frenzy of energy, Chloe Birch there, really putting in a shift as always. Brilliant. Great energy and intensity. Birch and Smith. Rampant after the loss of game one, after 31 minutes, they tear to an 11 4 lead in game two. Thank 
to 20 seconds. Got to 20 seconds. Coaches, return to your chair. Players, get on top. Well, this will be in... A disturbing scoreline for Indian fans back home, but delight for English fans. Thank you. In game two, anyhow. 11 4. Excellent return of serve. So quick to close that down. In your face badminton from Chloe Birch. Yep. Finding the holes on the court. Utterly focused. There's been a really rampant resurgence from the pair in black. So much for returning the shuttle. That's an incredible point from both teams. Service over. Six, 13. Chloe doing so well here. Look at this ground she had to cover. An incredible forehand defence from Tiki and Reddy, who is ever inventive. But again, Birch giving her all. Well, longest rally of the match by a long way, that one. Really good to watch. I'll be curious to know the number. And that'll feel uplifting to these two. 80 shot rally, really well played. Digging so deep at the end of a very long tour. Yeah. 
And tormenting more error there as well. So it's a lopsided looking game and one should certainly favour these two right now. But a moment of brilliance from the nonchalant, relaxed looking Siki and Ready. It's landed in. Well, they've been standout in this game, haven't they? Really done very little long as that one lands right on the paint. Curious looking Lauren Smith. She's pleased with that. Saw the palm down from the Lions judge and let out a roar. 17, 7. Good body attack from Ashwini Panapa. Yeah, lovely little half smash. Very little pace on it, different look. 11 game points to draw level in, in this third and fourth pay, place playoff. Well, clearly embracing and relishing the prospect of trying to find some solutions. Birch and Smith bite back emphatically with a terrific game. 21 points to nine. They draw level and we're going to go on in this one. It's going to be decided by a one game shootout after 40 minutes of action. Well, the Indian pairs coach was uh, on and off pretty promptly, actually. Didn't have a lot to say, barked out a few instructions, and that was it, all fairly minimal. Whereas uh, the coach of these two, the partner of Lauren, Marcus Ellis, uh, stayed far longer. 
far more to offer with all of his experience. Here we go then. Race to 21 points. Who's it going to be? The Indian pairing really were unpicked in game two. How will they respond now? Great determination and energy from the English pair. Simultaneous roaring as well. Fence there in the back court. Watch this. Very vigilant. Clever little push from Birch. Really good. Getting it below the tape nicely. Good redirection. This one there. Wonderful. Yeah, you could hear it come off the frame, couldn't you? So the length was lacking. Birch there. That one got picked off. Lucky little nibble off the net from Ashwini on the return of serve. there. Such a spirited effort here from Chloe Birch. Take a look at this. Oh, it was halfway over, wasn't it? The feathers were over.
Face over. Five. Seven. Well, it was high risk. Lovely. Couple of good drop shots and then pulling the trigger, but not quite in position. Little CK and ready there. Left hander. That there got the English pairing into trouble, didn't it? Just at changing up the attack lines, the Indian pair. Really clever. Exploiting those awkward parts of their opponent's court. Well, they've won five out of the last six points now, Panapa and Reddy, and they are very much on the front foot. The court's being wiped, so it'll just give the English pair a chance to catch a breath and towel down and just think tactically what they've got to do. It's been a really heady four or five minutes or so for the Indians. But I'm sure there's a lot of turns and twists left in this white road. It's been long and windy so far. 49 minutes have elapsed, but the short, the points are generally pretty short and punchy. We've had one rally of 80 shots. That was it. Body attack from Ready. Five points ahead on the scoreboard. 11 points to six. The uh, score separating both pairs as we head through the middle of the deciding game here. 9,000 US dollars. The difference between third and fourth spot they're playing for. And 100, 1,800 points.
76. Chloe Burge keeping the energy up. Great intensity from her throughout. Is there a resurgence from the English? and ready just so good at throwing a different look a very extreme look quite often often pins one straight then a very acute angle with no pace then maybe a slightly higher flat hard drive it's it's all in the rich mix that she brings she's very very inventive and awkward to play against the pace. Incredible turnaround, what a point from both pairs. Really, really good. Thought that it was the English point here after that great little push from Lauren Smith, but what defense from Siki and Reddy, the left-hander. Gets back up to recontest. Uptick in form has been pretty good from four all in this deciding game. They've made a vault forwards in their level and they're tough to catch right now, seemingly. Yeah, good pace from Chloe Birch. Well done. 
really proactive, hunting the shuttle, ultra focused. Living for the moment, right here, right now. Stopping the run of points at three for the English pair. Well, another really engaging rally, wasn't it? Just so tough to pick a winner. A little miscue from Chloe there, very unlike her. Reaction telling its own story. Utter disappointment there, because that felt like a really big point. But now the mountain's gradient has just got significantly steeper for Birch and Smith. Can they find a way back into this? Or will Panapa and Reddy slam the door? Four points from victory, these two. Well, as the match clock ticks onto the hour mark, little confusion between these two. Lauren unable to get back and Chloe unable to recover it. sense the writing on the wall. Panapa and Reddy poise nicely. Well, she's been dripping from her skirt, she was suggesting earlier, trying to wring it out the way uh, Tom of Junior Popper was earlier today. It's a warm day here in Bali. Temperatures the other side of 30. Can't be too aggressive with the aircon because it slows the condition of the hall down, the playing conditions. Now then, can they find a way? It's a tough ask, but how much do they believe? Really good in your face, Babington. From Lauren Smith. They're often the toughest points to win, aren't they? The last few.
Sweet timing from Siki and Reddy. She makes it look so effortless, doesn't she? Just wants to towel down for one last time, seemingly. Look at the pace she's getting here. Leaning on each of those progressively. And after 62 minutes, as the umpire ushers Reddy back onto court, the Indian pairing have seven match points. A bark of delight from the Indian pairing of uh, Ashwini Ponapa and Siki N. Reddy. Twinning just that little bit more effectively on the day, despite a real resurgent middle game from the English, 21 points to nine. It's the Indian pairing that find a way. After 64 minutes of action, they sneak through into third place in women's doubles group B. Uh, that means an extra 9,000 US dollars of prize money and 1,800 world ranking points. They conclude their year in style at the expense of the English pair of Birch and Smith. Coming through 19-21, 21-19, 21 21-9 I should say, and then a 21-14. 64 minutes. A very intriguing women's doubles. It's the end of the road for Lauren Smith and Chloe Birch, but what a season it's been. Up to 13 on the world rankings, but today it was the world number 24 pair that had the last laugh. A really good match to watch. So just looking at our results of the day so far then, Li Zhizhao with a win in men's singles over Kidambi Shrikant, the fifth seed after 37 minutes. So he tops group B in men's singles, does Li. And he's followed closely by Kunlovit Vititsan, who had a bit of a wobble. He uh, lost two match point opportunities in the second game, could have closed it out in two, but got there in an emphatic third and decisive game, the tie. 21-5 over Toma Junior Popov from France. And then in the women's doubles, we just brought you that one, didn't we? Just uh, edging into the second hour of play. Panapa and Reddy coming through. 21-19, 9-21, 21-14 after 64 minutes. Two games to one over Birch and Smith. And well, sadly, after that, there's been uh, the retirement of Yojimin, a uh, walkover for Anse Young. So this is what's coming up later. There's a couple more walkovers right down the pecking order there, as you can see. But we've got three mixed doubles enticing coming up in our second session. That's all at five o'clock local time. You see a walkover for Laksha Sen over Rasmus Gemka and Li and Wang Chi Lin as well. The Li Yang, Wang Chi Lin, the Olympic champions with a walkover over Ranky Reddy and Shetty. So three mixed doubles up for you in the second session. Do join Morton Frost at five o'clock local time from myself, Paul Hand. Bye for now. Thanks for your company.